This is part two for the fifth grade BPS Common Core Math Assessments, and this relates to using the BPS Digital Socrative Math Assessments. So what is Socrative? Socrative is a free digital tool that allows teachers to assess students. It's simple and it takes just seconds to log in. The nice thing about Socrative is it will run on tablets, iPads, smartphones, and laptops. We really found Socrative useful for the purpose of these assessments as teachers could easily import a quiz that's already been created by someone else, um, such as the assessment team, and it's really easy for students to access either via the apps or by just logging into um, the website on a computer. So what we want to do is let's just go ahead and take a quiz and be a student for a bit so that you can see how this tool looks and how a student would access a quiz. Okay? All right, so for a student to go ahead and take a quiz that the teacher has started, um, the student simply needs to go to Socrative.com and click on Student Login. Once the student has done this, um, they will type in the teacher's room number, and this is basically a room number that the teacher is assigned. So um, up in the corner of the whiteboard is the room number for Socrative. The student types that in, clicks on Join Room, and automatically the quiz that the teacher wants the student to take appears because they have started that quiz. Okay, so I'm going to put in my name submit and then I uh, you can see that in Socrative one question appears at a time and so I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions as a student and I'll quickly go through these question three Okay, and you can see here question 7 says explain how you would find the difference of 5 twelfths and 1 6. So here is where the student would explain. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on finish, quick quiz. Now if there was another student that was waiting to take the quiz, I would click on this and the student would pass the computer or the laptop or the iPad over to the next student. Okay. So I'm going to finish, and here you can see it's saying, please wait for the teachers to start the next activity. So what that means is one quiz was started by the teacher, and now the student is completed with those listed activities. Okay? So that is how simple it is for the student to actually take the quiz. All right, so the first step as a teacher for you to use the Socrative tool is to sign up for a Socrative account. It's a very simple process. To sign up, you'll go to Socrative.com, click on Sign Up, enter the details, and then click on Create Account. Let me go ahead and show you how that looks. All right, so you'll come to Socrative.com, click on Sign Up. You'll simply enter your email password and click on Create an Account. And then once you've done that, whenever you are at the Socrative screen, you will simply enter your email and password and log in. Okay? All right, so now that you have an account created, um, I want to show you how to add a BPS math assessment from our Common Core 4 5 website um, to your Socrative account so that you can use it with your students. All right, so here I am at the 4 or 5 Common Core Math Assessments website, and you're familiar with this from the first video, um, part one. So what I'm going to do is um, you'll notice that when it is a Socrative assessment, it's identified as such with CCSS Math, Socrative Assessment. And you'll also notice that um, over in the description, it says copy and paste this code and then click on the view link. So in order to use the quizzes that the assessment team has put together, you need this special code because we've basically said, hey, we want to share these. We want to allow sharing our quizzes. So as a result, we got a special code number for you. So you can write this code down or I like to copy the code. So I'm just doing a command C after I highlight. So it's, it's copied. 
And now when I click on the View link, it's going to take me to the Teacher Socrative page. So I click on View, and you will probably get a screen that asks you to log in with your email and password, but I'm already logged in. So it, it will take you directly here. Okay, notice this is where my room number is listed. All right, so what I'm wanting to do is manage quizzes. And this is where you can create, edit, and import quizzes. So I'm going to click on that link. I'm going to click on import quiz. Import a shared quiz. And then I'm going to paste that SOC number. Okay? And then I import the quiz. And then notice here's the name of the quiz. You can give it a unique name if you want. Um, I'm not going to enable sharing. That just means that you want to be able to share this quiz with other people, which isn't necessary um, since this quiz is already shared with you. Okay? Unless, of course, you made edits and wanted to share it um, as a unique document. So if you scroll down to the bottom, here you'll see the quiz. Um, you could easily go in and change names if you wanted to do that. Make it specific to your students. And then just click on Save. So do make sure you scroll down to the bottom and click on Save. Because now you can see that quiz is part of your account. Okay? So that was the first step of actually getting the quiz into your account. Okay? Alright, so once you've imported the quiz, now how do we go ahead and start the quiz? Keep in mind that Socrative has some great tips and um, kind of help areas and up by this yellow light bulb you can see to start a quiz, go to the main menu. So to start a quiz, we're going to go back to this main screen and I'm going to click on Start Quiz. And notice here's a listing. Now I have a bunch of quizzes within my account. I'm going to go ahead and use the copy that I just brought in from the website. And we're going to do a student paste quiz. Okay? And um, I'm going to disable immediate feedback, meaning I don't want the student to know immediately if they got it right or wrong. Um, now that is absolutely up to you, but I just want to show you how you can disable that if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Student Paste Quiz. Notice my room number is listed here once again, so I put that up in the corner of my whiteboard to remind my students. Okay, so now that quiz is actually running and available for students. Now what you're going to want to do is keep this tab open, okay, so that as you're wanting students to do the quiz, you have this tab um, open and the quiz is, is currently active okay so let me show you what this looks like if the student now tries to access this quiz okay so I'm going to go to just another browser here and I'm going to I'm going to type in Socrative.com click on student login type in 1967 join room now I'm going to go ahead and just once again answer these questions I know this is how we started out our time together okay click on finish the quiz and as a student since I'm done I'm going to go ahead and log out now, back into Teacher um, view here. I can go ahead and click on Live Results. And I can see that Becky completed the quiz. Um, and she actually got um, five out of five questions correct. Okay, notice that it doesn't grade um, the short answer. So that is something you will go in and take a look at. Okay. So I'm going to click on end the activity, meaning all students are done taking this quiz. So I'm going to end it. And then I can either email the report to me or I'm going to download it. I'm going to click on download report. Okay, and do you see how right here 
is my quiz report and it's in an Excel format. So I'm going to open that. I can easily see how Becky did on these questions, okay? So the green means that it's correct. If it were not correct, um, it would give, I believe it's a red color, okay? All right, so let me show you a little bit more information regarding the quiz and the results. So if I go and end an activity, and I've just set up another example for you here, and I click on download report, it downloads it into my download folder, okay, and in Chrome it shows up right here the way I have my browser set up. So I can always open it right from here. So here I can see the results. Now notice how if it was incorrect, it is highlighted in kind of a red pinkish color, okay? And if I scroll over, I can see the score that the student received. Now keep in mind that that does not include scoring of the open response questions, okay? You'll need to go in and take a look at those, all right? All right, a couple things you might find helpful um, if you're viewing the reports in Excel is you can easily just do a quick print by clicking on print if that's easier for you to read. Um, also, keep in mind that as you scroll across, you won't be able to see the student name. So here's a really quick fix to that. Since I want to keep this column frozen so that it doesn't scroll over, what I do is I click to the right of that column and I choose Window Freeze Panes. Okay, so did you see how this line appeared right here? So now as I scroll over, the names will stay there. So I can tell. If I scroll all the way over, you know, I can easily line up the score and how many correct answers they had with the name. Okay, also if you can't see the complete question, just click on the question cell and you can view it up here at the top. You'll be able to view the whole entire question in case you're wanting to see more closely what that was asking. Okay, hope that was helpful. Um, I think the reports are really easy for you to take a look at. And in my opinion, you know, here I can see that collectively as a class of three, um, my students are really struggling with questions four and five. So I'm going to take a closer look at those to see what it is we need to work on. Okay, thank you. All right, so just one more thing as I am back at the main screen of Socrative for teachers. Um, I'm going to click on Manage Quizzes. And notice that if you ever want to go back and look at the reports, you can retrieve a previous quiz report by quickly choosing that, sending the report to your email, or just downloading as we were doing before. So your quiz reports are saved, okay? Thank you, and I hope you enjoy using Socrative. A big thank you to the fifth grade assessment team, Angie, Carrie, and Megan, um, along with Ann Brecker for assisting with the startup process. You guys were amazing in getting this done, um, and it is greatly appreciated. Thank you.